All right, this card has been coming up a lot as the culmination card. So people are really planting their seeds and watching their garden grow. Um, there's a huge shift and a huge change. And I know Libra, that is happening for you. You're one of the signs that it's affecting um, mostly. I know a lot of my Libra clients have had physical problems that they've had to tackle. They've had to slow their roll because of this physical issue that has come up. But um, looks like the wellness is happening. The healing is starting to happen. And the chariot, that's a great card. It's uh, one of the higher cards. It can mean travel in style. It also means finding the balance in life. Um, the duplicitousness, accepting things that you are not able to change. That is also part of it. But life is a dichotomy. The, the light, the dark, the good, the evil. So this also stands for that. So your life may be presenting you with a lot of di dichotomies right now to deal with. Um, but what I'm feeling for you is that it is travel in style. It is in the present position. So you may be going someplace fabulous for the holidays or saving for that fabulous trip. But finding the balance between work, finding the balance between emotions, kids, family, and all that stuff, and the duplicitous of life, um, you know, joy versus the have tos, things like that. So it looks like you're looking at all the duplicitous things in your life, dear Libra. And um, travel in style. Ace of Pentacles, it crosses you, which is the challenge. And the and aces are higher cards. They're what I like to call the karma cards, the God cards. So when you are back on your path, it looks like you are on the road to recovery. Um, you did look at the things that you ha had to look at. You did make some of those changes. Some were necessary that, that uh, you could no longer do these activities or physical things. Um, that you had to give them off to others. And it looks like as you have released these responsibilities to the people that truly own them, you are pleasantly surprised that they actually can handle them. Um, um, for many of us, you know, as parents, we do, we overdo for our children. And when they actually show us that they can do these things, it's like, ooh, manna from heaven. It's a wonderful thing. So, you have really lessened the load of your plate a little bit and n there's a new door, new possibilities. Um, I'm feeling like these mountains are lighting up. So I don't know, maybe you're going to the mountains for Christmas or something like that. But um, yeah, there's new beginnings happening. And as you have light lit, lightened your load more of the things that bring you joy are being able to be incorporated into your life. But it looks like you have really released some responsibilities. You did a good job, Libra. I know that's so hard for you guys to do is to um, let somebody fall on their face in front of you. But, you know, it's the only way they'll learn to pick themselves up. And you had some things that needed to be addressed, that needed your focus and, and, um, needed concentrated focus in all of your energy and time. So that looks like it has just passed. It is still a challenge for you, um, but you're incorporating it into your awareness, into your life. Um, and as you have made some changes, this one, you're about the third or fourth, fourth sign that has had this in this position. This is the seven. And the seven of cups is, well... It can mean many things. It can mean um, it's time to upgrade your hopes, dreams, and desires that you have pretty much met and mastered everything that you've put in front of you. And it also can stand that you have changed so much that these hopes, dreams, and desires are no longer in line with you for your growth, your happiness, or for whatever. You know, we change about every seven years. Um and so we need to revisit our hopes, dreams, and desires and change them along with how we have changed. Um, for many of you, it can mean really looking at a situation honestly. Look at it, not how you wish it to be, not in a dreamlike state, but for what it really, truly 
is. And if it is not benefiting you, Libra, it is time to let go of those responsibilities that aren't yours, either that relationship, that job, um, friendship, whatever it is. But there's something that you need to look at honestly in order to make the changes. So what is in the past is the king of swords and the king is an exalted person, someone of great wisdom or someone over 40. Um, the swords are air sign. That's Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Um, so this looks like, and it's right along the line of the chariot. And also this is a travel card as well. So are you going to see an air sign? Maybe dear Libra. Um, it also can stand for you. You have changed so much in the last couple of months, some by force, some by um, design, <laughs> and some by choice. Um, so now it's time to really look at what your dreams, hopes, and desires are, how you have changed, how you present yourself, but you have a certain calmness to you that you didn't have before. Um, it looks like your own certainty, your own self-worth is raising up more and more and more as you look at the world honestly and make those changes that you've wanted to make for a long time. Moving into your bliss, moving into um, a calmer place um, and alleviating yourself of the stressful situations that don't belong to you. So it really looks like you have taken a step up in your spiritual freedom, taken a step up into owning your own space, owning your own behaviors and releasing some behaviors that are not very healthy for you. This is the present time card. This is the seven. You've got a seven. You've got seven, seven, seven. So you've got lots of sevens. What's going on? Have you completely revamped? You know, we have the seven year cycle, seven layers of our skin, seven uh, chakras. So the number seven is really shining through for you here. Um, and it looks like you have really changed a lot of things in your life. And now it's time to plant new seeds to watch the garden grow. Also, do not get overloaded by too many things in your space and too many desires, too many wants, too many things to do. Pick just one thing at a time, finish it to completion, and um, then the next one, will it'll be clear to you what your next step will be. But it looks like where to start, that you have a lot of projects, a lot of things that have been put on hold due to the processing of the past. So now that you're feeling better or now that, that things are aligned, getting aligned right for you, what do you want to do? Just pick one thing at a time, please, Libra. Um, and it will work beautifully for you um, if you pick one thing at a time. But don't overload yourself with too much have-tos. Um, that is part of the old behavior that you have broken or are breaking. So realize it's going to take some time to move into this new process of doing things. But you really have taken a step up in your own havingness, in your own autonomy. And um, a lot of stuff is on your plate right now. Just pick one, finish it, and you'll be okay. But yeah, that overloading is kind of more of the same of the behavior that you have just stopped doing. So what is in the future? It looks like travel. You have two travel cards right next to each other. Um, the three also can stand for finding balance, reallocating money, letting go of things that no longer serve you, um, lightening your load so you can move into the future a little bit um, freer. I'm also seeing this red color lighting up for me too. You're still holding on to a little bit of anger from the past that doesn't serve you. It prevents you from growing. So take a look at what you need to take a look at. Um, if you're still angry about it, that's fine. Go do something, go bowling or something <laughs> to release it. But truly walk past that, that anger. Uh, from the past because it is it's not really benefiting you it is just holding you stagnant and preventing you from growing 
So give that energy to whoever it belongs to you and then move forward into your life, sweet Libra. You have a lot of gifts. You have a lot of new adventures waiting for you. And I feel travel or a different view. This may mean moving for some of you um, or just visiting for others. But there is definite movement as soon as you release that anger that is not serving you. Um, the growth will start happening. But it's kind of holding you stagnant and almost paralyzing your growth when you are focusing on the anger. So let that go and move about the cabin freely, sweet Libra. Uh, you have some new projects coming up. And I'm feeling like one will require you to travel as well. So what is on the bottom of here? What is the foundation? It is the queen of swords. The queen is um, exalted person, someone over 40 or a wise younger person. It may stand for you as well because you are an air sign and that is Aquarius, Gemini or Libra. But it feels like this does feel like you. This feels like you've kind of backslid on some things um, and that you're taking a look look at reintroducing them, re-communicating about the things that need to change. Do not backslide too far. You've made a lot of progress. And, you know, when we backslide, then it gives the others permission to go back to the behavior that didn't work. So be strong in your words. Um, have kindness, but speak your truth. Speak your truth. Do not swallow it. And I'm feeling like that's that's the behavior that's happening again, Libra, is that you're swallowing your words again. It is only a brief time. You will find your words, um, which is, I know, something you were working on last month. But um, power through that. Power through the fear. And it's the fear of, and it feels like abandonment or people not liking you if you tell them what you need to tell them. Um, or hurting somebody's feelings, but it looks like you're hurting your own feelings by not speaking your truth. So grab your big girl, big boy pants, pull them up and speak your truth with love and kindness. As long as there's no manipulation or anger, then it is the right thing to say, but you have some words that are unspoken, sweet Libra, and you need to speak them. All right. These are new opportunities coming. This is a four. So it looks like you're looking at opportunities. I don't know whether it's moving, looking at a new job, new partner, whatever it is. There's three, maybe even more things you're really overthinking about and you're missing it. You're missing the obvious. There's an obvious answer to the problems and it is right there. Let it drop from the sky. Give your brain a day or two off from um, thinking about this. I almost said obsessing because I know how y'all are you air signs, but um, give your mind a break. Let it have a, a blank slate and see what comes to you from that space. But it looks like there's an idea that'll just drop from the heavens or present to you. And it is in the future position, um, but it is also after you speak your truth. So there may be more opportunities for you after you speak your truth. The death card is here. Um, it does not have any people around it. Um, and what I mean by people is like the queen, kings, knights. This is not what I'm talking about, but the death is usually the ending of something. And it also makes room for the beginning of something else. So there is something coming to a completion, whether it's a relationship that hasn't worked and you're letting it go or a relationship that you have revamped and re-embraced and you're in a new space. It's the death of the old relationship and going into the new space. This may be a job. This may be a friendship, but um, it is right next to the nine. And the nine also is kind of planting, planting your seeds, seeing what's growing. Um, I'm also feeling like it could be pregnancy. It could be a baby coming into uh, the world. So for those Libras who do not want uh, babies, please do what you can to prevent that. But it does feel like the possibility is there. Usually it's the Empress card, but for some reason this is coming up in my space now. So um, it, it it's a 
card of fertility. So uh, whether that's planting an idea or planting a baby seed. So, um, but your uh, garden is growing. There are new things on the horizon for you. Um, as I said, don't get overloaded by all the ideas at once. Uh, this also looks like abilities to make money. So you're planting seeds and doing the effort right now. So you can get some financial rewards. For many of you, that may just mean reallocating money, you know, canceling cable and lowering this bill or redoing that. So it looks like there's a little bit of money revamping happening and reprioritizing. So you can... Um, have the money, effort, and time for the things that you would like to see grow, see those brand new ideas manifest into the physical or the earthly plane. It is also feeling like you are a little trapped. The death card is right here. This may be for many of you, either relationships face or family dynamics, the have tos that you feel like you're ultimately responsible for. That's kind of like slipping back into the old stuff. Remember, um, only, um, you're only responsible for the things on your plate unless you offer otherwise. So you're feeling a little bit trapped. I think it has something to do with money as well. Pull that blind fold off and take a look at the situation as it truly is and you'll be able to resolve realize that this is a temporary position you are healing yourself and you will get clarity on this situation but it does really feel like you're trapped in a situation that you have created for yourself so um, whether that is living in a situation that you're not comfortable with or being in a relationship you're not comfortable with or work expectations, realize that you have a part in this decision and you can change it just as quickly as you created it. The moon is on the other side. Um, the moon, it can stand for mother. It can stand for giving, giving, giving. Um, it also is the internal side of us. The moon is the internal side of us where the sun astrologically is our external side of us. So it looks like you've been doing some real soul searching. It's time Libra to put into place some of those ideas, say the things that you need to say, um, start gifting of yourself. It does look like you're very, very close to getting back on that path back on the path of enlightenment and meant uh, back on the path that you're supposed to be on. It looks like for the last couple of years, you, you veered off the path a bit, but with this newfound commitment to healing yourself and making yourself a priority, it has given you permission to get back on the path and have your gifts and have some clarity about the situation. So you're right there. Don't give up before the miracle, Libra. You're right there. So continue to speak your words with love and kindness and make yourself a priority. Um, and it's okay to say no to family members, um, especially the needy ones that do not take care of themselves, that hand off responsibilities to you and to others. It's okay to say no. Um, but you've been doing a lot of self-reflecting, a lot of internalizing of things. And now it's time to take those ideas, those words, those healing things that you've been working on and put them out into the universe. Give the responsibilities, continue to give the responsibilities that you've taken um, to the people that truly, truly um, own them. So this is a little bit extension of more of the same from last month, but you're, there is progress. There is wonderful creations right on the edge of being manifested and actualized. So dear Libra, let me throw some cards here for clarity. And these are chakra cards. Balance. Well, that's quite obvious, huh? <laughs> You're trying to find your balance within all these things and insecurity. So as you speak your words, as you get challenged, it brings up those insecurities. Realize that you are a wonderful creative being with many skills and that you have to believe them before anybody else can believe them. So it's just a shift of the mind. That's it. 
and you're trying to find that balance between money, between time, between loved ones, uh, finding the balance of your emotions. And you are on the path, sweet Libra, so keep going. You're on the path.